up, hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. And if you don't like math, go ahead and click off this video right now. Story, just face the fact I was y'all blessed, but y'all ignored it. Your quest for fame had you distorted. Not accepting, sorry. I'm really that the streets are vouch. The people vouch. The jail are vouch. All the niggas in the feds are vouch. We held it down while in the drought. One of my sales are vouch. All right, you guys, the purpose of this video is to help you determine how to evaluate whether or not the route that you've selected is profitable. Now, in my previous video, I told you how to find routes in your area. If you haven't had an opportunity to see that video yet, link is in the description below. But once you find a route, how do you know whether or not that route is truly profitable? Now, it's a lot of things to consider that are dependent on your unique situation. But in this video, I'm just going to give you the process that I personally use to determine whether or not this route is truly profitable before I agree to take on this route. Now, what you see on the screen right now is just a random route that I found in the Austin, Texas area that we're going to use for the purposes of illustration in this video. Now, on the low end, this route says that it'll pay $2,365 a month. Now, in the listing, it says it'll pay at least $110 a day plus a fuel surcharge. Now, numerically within this video, I want you to understand that the numbers don't really matter as much as the process does because the numbers will vary depending on your situation, your area, the price of gas. It's a whole lot of factors to factor in. So don't worry about the numbers. It's going to be a lot of estimates. I really want you to understand this process because that's how you know whether or not your route is proper. We're going to take that $110 a day on the low end just to be conservative and we're going to multiply it times five because it says that the route is Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now if we multiply $110 times five, we get $550 a week. Now I want to know how much money that is for the month. If I multiply $550 a month times four weeks in that month, that leaves me $2,200. But wait a minute. This route says that it's going to pay me $2,365 on the low end. So that means that there's a $165 difference. Well, given the information that we have in this listing, we're going to assume that a $165 difference is the fuel surcharge. Now, to see how much that $165 a month is per week that we actually get to put towards our fuel expense, we're just going to divide that by four. That leaves us $41.25 per week that this company will give us as a fuel surcharge based off the information they told us so far. Now, I'm going to add that $550, which comes from the $110 a week times five days a week, plus the $41.25 which is the fuel surcharge, which means that on the low end, this route will pay me $591.25 per week. The reason I personally like to break numbers down on a weekly basis is because as independent couriers, you get paid every week. Well, most routes pay you every week. And that's also what I recommend for you to seek out, especially in the beginning. So we're going to break numbers down on a weekly basis to see what we're working with as our weekly operating expenses. And then we'll do further math from there. Now, out of this $591.25 we have a week, how much money did we spend to get that? Now, let's estimate that we spend around $40 a day in fuel because we have a nicer, newer truck. Again, the numbers don't really matter. Just understand this process. And that will mean that we're spending $200 a week in fuel if we're spending $40 a day in this truck to do this route between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I know in the listing it says the times vary, so we may not work that entire time. But something else that I want to point out to you is that when it says that the route varies, it could mean that you'll work later than 6. It doesn't always mean that you will work less than six, so you may work eight to seven, eight to eight. It probably really just depends on whatever time these locations that you're delivering these parts to actually closes or no longer accept deliveries for the day. We'll say it's $200 a week in fuel. Now, another expense that we can't get around is insurance. Now, I'm gonna estimate that full coverage insurance is $250 a month on a nice newer truck that we will use for this route because we want a truck that's not too old it's gonna give us a lot of problems that's pretty much a good estimate to say what we'll pay in full coverage insurance and that may be a little bit on the low end 250 dollars a month on a weekly basis 
will break down to $62.50. Now, I know what you're saying. You don't pay insurance every week. You pay insurance once a month. Now, I'm breaking it down to a weekly basis because that's when you're getting paid. So as you get paid each week, you got to factor in the amount of fuel that it costs you to run that route each week. And then you should also allocate the $62.50. We're just going to round up and call it $63 for the sake of easy math. And we're going to take that $63 a week, put it to the side. So at the end of the month, when it's time to pay our $250 car insurance, we got it. At the bare minimum, our operating expenses are $263 a week. Again, that's just if we subtract the fuel, which we estimate to be $40 a day, and the insurance, which we factor to be $250 a month, $62.50 a week, but we're just saying $63 for the sake of easy math. Now, I hope I haven't lost you yet because we have to go a little bit deeper than this. Now, if we take that $263, which is our bare minimum operating expense, and subtract it, from that $591.25 that we make per week with our daily pay plus our fuel surcharge, our weekly profit is now down to $328.25 per week. Now, to determine how much that is a month, we're going to multiply 328.25 times 4. That's going to get us $1,313 per month in monthly profit. Now, I know this listing says $2,365 on the low end, but just doing some simple math and not even deducting all of our expenses, which we'll mention more here soon, we're already down to $1,313 a month. But wait a minute. That's how much profit we have if we do this route for one month, right? Well, as an independent courier, you're always paid in the arrear. For example, let's say you do this the entire month of June. The first week of July, you're already owed a paycheck based off the work you did the last week of June. You follow me? Unless you pay another $263, you can't run the route the first week of July. Let me say that again. Once you finish, let's say you do this for the month of June, the entire month of June, you made $1,313 profit. You're owed a check the first week of July based off of the work you did the last week of June because you always are paid the week after you do the work. However, you still have to do the route that entire first week of July before you get paid that check that they owe you. So you got to pay another $263 out of your $1,313 just to make it to that first week of that following month if that makes sense you might have to rewind this video slow it down but hopefully you're still with me that being said your profit after operating expenses for this route will be one thousand and fifty dollars What's significant about that one thousand and fifty dollars if your bills for the month are over one thousand and fifty dollars a month you should not accept this route the route that pays $2,365 a month. Let's say your expenses are only $1,100 a month. You might say, hey, that's great money. This route pays $2,365. My bills are only $1,100. I'm going to make a killing. Well, if you do the math to evaluate whether or not this route is profitable or not, you'll see that actually your profit is $1,050 per month. And to be honest with you, it's actually less than $1,050. This is why it's less than $1,050 a month. We haven't deducted any routine maintenance that might occur throughout that month, such as an oil change. Would you go through a set of tires? Are there any unforeseen maintenance expenses that we haven't factored in? We haven't allocated any expense to say what your time is worth. We haven't factored in how difficult this route could be, meaning if there's a lot of heavy lifting, you going up and down stairs, if this is very labor intensive, all of that should be assessed as well to determine the profitability of this route. Because when I speak about profitability, I'm not just talking about financial profitability. There's no sense in doing a route that pays big money, but you kill yourself every day as well. So that's why I say when you think about profitability, don't think only on financial profitability. Also think about your personal welfare 
when you consider overall profitability of a route. There could also be other fees depending on your situation. The list can go on and on. For example, if you're financing your vehicle, if they're charging any fees, and you know your situation better than anybody, so you have to deduct whatever other necessary expenses there are. For example, are you trying to grow this into a large courier business? Well, you need to start putting money aside for that. Do you want to have health benefits? You want to put money aside for that. Do you want to go on a vacation sometime this year? Got to put money aside for that. And that's just some of the examples. I'm not going to name them all, but I'm sure you get the idea. Another thing, too, is that you got to understand, like I mentioned earlier, you get paid in the arrears. So that means the first two weeks that you do this route, you don't have any money. You get money at the end of the second week of this route, but the whole first week you run this route will create a check that they owe you at the end of the following week. So you still have to run that second week as well before you make your first check. So you also need to factor in how much money does it cost to run this route for two weeks. All right, hustlers. I hope all this math hasn't lost you. Again, I want you to understand that the numbers aren't as important because the numbers will vary depending on your situation, but I want you to understand the process. So in the description below, I'm going to make a list to help you get started on what to factor in when you determine how profitable a route is. Now, if there's anything on this list that doesn't apply to you, just cross it off of your personal list. And then if there's anything that's not listed that applies to your situation, just add to it and use this list to determine whether or not a route is truly profitable for your situation. Because I don't want you to just get offered a route and let's say they say it pays $5,000 a month and you jump on it. But then once you look at the numbers and how high your expenses are, it's really no profit in the route. There you have it, you guys. To all my hustlers, stay hustling. JC Hustles, I'm gone. Standing out when it's beef, I'm never standing down. Hey, next door to Jamal while in St. John Apartments. Couldn't afford the rent. We move a grandma more like an orphanage. The neighborhood ain't like I said, we came from New Orleans.